Hey guys, Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric here. I'll try to be as loud as I can. There's uh, some tractors going on here. Um, customer here had a really good point. I need to do an updated video on an underground situation for a hot tub. Um, I'm going to have him back up just to here to see this. So this is considered, um, careful, yep. this is considered an island because you're coming out here to by itself. So it's a floating island. Um, he's putting cement right through here which the code speaks in 300.5 that if you do that, you're allowed to put cement over it because then you don't have to be two feet deep. So they're also going to pour a little piece right here, cement. Okay, otherwise I have to be two feet deep on this. Um, this allows us right here, that's an expansion company. That allows the ground to shift without ripping it out of the panel. We had to drill a one inch hole right here to get into this. And I won't take credit, but this was his idea and I love this and I'm gonna use this for now on. But this is a three quarter inch feet FA fitting on an irrigation pipe with the hose. And he worked this through, it took him about 15 minutes he said. And just snaked it through by blowing water, kind of like a little fracking. And he blew it through and then he got the schedule 40 in. Um, cannot use 90s underground to sweep up and you cannot use 45s underground you will not be able to get it through this is a one inch but if you did three quarter with the 50 amp size on the wire for the hot tub you'd never get it through so um, he did a great job with the one inch but what we needed was this heat box so these heat boxes uh, you, usually you can't rent them <clears throat> And uh, Home Depot and Harbor Freight and Lowe's, they don't sell stuff like this. Um, but my wholesaler sailor does. It's a four footer. They're a, about 300 bucks. You can go to an eight footer and they're about six to seven, eight hundred dollars, depending on where you get it. But we got this new and this just heats it up at about 2,000 um, watts. And when you turn that on, you just let that cook for a while and it just rotates. This does half inch to two inch. So when we heated up the fitting for our bins, we did almost like a 60 and a 90 right here, okay? And then it was able to connect. This has to be schedule 80, underground to schedule 40. As you come through, we bent this one here. We cooled it with water. And then on this side, we bent it up at a 90 and we cooled that with water. So we ended with 90, about a 45 right here, sweeping 45, another 45 and a 90. So we have about 270 degrees worth of bends. But that fish tape just went whoosh, right through. So a few of the tools that you're gonna need, um, a fish tape, if you don't own that, I think it's cheaper just to hire a contractor because by the time you buy all these tools, it's just gonna be harder for you in the long run. We needed a really strong drill uh, because you had to unibit the panel. And I've had these bits in here. I probably have 500 bucks worth of bits, but. I've got a few of these, and even after years of getting them sharpened, they're still getting dull, so probably have to replace this one inch. But getting through that hard metal outside R3 cabinet, that was pretty tough on that panel. Um, but yeah, this Unibit, some WD-40, the heat box, PVC glue. You cannot use white pipe for irrigation, which is a scheduled EV-20. EV you can't use it underground. and. Um, cannot use black pipe. I've had a lot of landscapers leave me a one inch and say, well, go ahead and connect at both ends. There's no way to adapt that gray fitting to this black pipe or this white pipe. Um, you're, you're not allowed to do that whatsoever. So if it's not gray, it's not electrical. And if you don't have it in, um, we, want, we can't do the job for you, especially if it's mostly done or poured. Uh, the homeowner did most of this. He did a great job laying out. Just off of here, the biggest concern is they had it sticking over here to go under the tub. The problem with going under the tub is you have a stand-up piece like this. And then if this isn't an exact right spot, you're gonna hit a motor, a seat, control panel, or a motor. So you really have to have your pictures underneath exact so we can measure that exact tub. Um, the other thing is that then you have to have someone here to drill the bottom to set the tub. It doesn't make it easy then later to maintenance the tub and move it. So it's better to go on the side of the tub and then flex in to the hole that they give you. And we'll cut that off, put an FA 
put a connector, flex it through and in. We'll reduce it from one inch to three quarter. That way we can get into the tub because the holes are three quarter. We don't want to drill that fiberglass or that plastic bigger if we don't have to. But this allows us later to move it. Hot tub guys, they drop it, they fill it. I come back later and don't have to worry about scheduling with the customer and everything. And then I just pull the wire, fill it up, fire it up, and we're good. The other thing is this is a great example. A lot of people say, well, where's my disconnect? This panel is within 50 foot.